Happy Earth Day, everybody. This is Christy Griffin, president of San Francisco Veg Society. And we are so excited to be, be a part of this video. And thank you so much to Earth Day San Francisco for producing this video for 2021. Um, I'm very sorry that we can't all be together, but hopefully we all can be next year. So get out there and get vaccinated, folks. Keep wearing your masks, stay safe, protect each other, and hopefully we can all celebrate together again soon. In the meantime, uh, we do want to make sure and invite everybody to our live Zoom event that will be happening on Saturday, April 24th from noon to 5. If you are interested in uh, joining us, just send a, an RSVP email to events at sfvs.org. We're going to have a great program starting with an overview on how to transition to a plant-based lifestyle uh, done by Tamiko Garner. And then we will follow that up with four cooking demos from some of our favorite plant-based chefs here in the Bay Area. So I hope you all can join us. And um, I just wanted to mention uh, that the number one most effective thing that we can all do to protect the environment is to choose a plant-based diet, to choose veganism. I just wanted to kind of give you a little overview of why that's so important. Um, the UN says that 15% of all human-caused greenhouse gas emissions come from livestock, and nearly a third of the land on Earth and 41% of the land in the United States is devoted to producing meat and animal products. In California, we as Californians use 1,500 gallons of water per person per day, and about half of that is associated with meat and dairy production. Livestock operations on land have created more than 500 nitrogen flooded dead zones around the world in our oceans. And I know that uh, pollution is something that we're all thinking about on a regular basis. Um, and plastic pollution has been in the news quite a bit lately. Something a lot of folks don't know is that um, the great Pacific garbage patch, that island of garbage that's just out there floating in the Pacific Ocean, 46% of that is just fishing gear. That's just fishing gear. So our, our message is if you want to protect the environment, the best, the easiest, the most effective thing you can do is adopt a plant-based diet. That's no, no fish, no cows, no chickens, no dairy, no eggs. And I know that sounds like you're giving up a lot, but you're really, really not. There are so many exciting things that you can eat as a vegan. I used to have kind of a boring diet, to tell you the truth, before I went vegan. It was pretty standard, kind of boring. Uh, when I switched to veganism, I found this whole world opened up for me. I, I never liked to cook uh, before I went vegan, and as a vegan, I enjoy cooking very much. Um, I enjoy exploring uh, new things and and veganizing old recipes and things like that. It, it actually has made uh, cooking a lot of fun. And I've been vegan for 18 years now, but there are a lot of uh, folks that are just turning to veganism now in the pandemic because of information released by all of the major health organizations. But uh, in particular, the CDC says that three out of every four infectious diseases diseases is zoonotic, which means that it uh, jumped um, from non-human animals to human animals. Um, and these transfers are almost always because we're eating animals. So if you want to pre prevent future pandemics, if you want to protect the environment, if you want to do something great for your health, if you want to save animals, and if you want to make the lives of people who work in these awful conditions better, just don't participate in that system. It's the easiest thing to do. Just don't participate in the system. There's a 
Now, I will acknowledge that, you know, not everybody can go vegan overnight. In fact, most of us can't. Uh, it's a transition process and we're here to help at San Francisco Veg Society. So if you have any questions, please always feel free to let us know. Reach out to us on social media. You can email us at events at, at sfvs.org. That's events at sfvs.org. And uh, if you're interested in taking those first steps, I do highly encourage you to tune in to our event on uh, Saturday, April 24th. Um, our four chefs, I did want to kind of give a little overview of them really quick. We're so excited about them. Uh, we've got uh, Stephanie Bosco, who is the superfood goddess on Instagram. We have Nina Curtis, who is botanical chef on Instagram. And Jillian Love, uh, who is at Chef Jillian Love on Instagram. Uh, she's she's done a lot of Earth Day events with us. She's an old favorite. I'm sure some of you will remember. Uh, she she does a lot of raw vegan food. And then we'll have Chef Reina Montenegro, who is at Chef Reina on Instagram. And she recently opened up a uh, vegan Filipino restaurant called Chef Reina in Brisbane. Uh, we're so excited to be working with uh, with. Stephanie and Nina and Tamiko and Jillian and, and Raina. And we really hope that all of you can join us on the 24th. Thank you so much for everything you do uh, to protect the environment. And thank you so much Earth Day San Francisco for putting together this 2021 event.